and find a diode tube from out of a uh, television. It this one's rated at 22,000 volts and 0.5 milliamps. Yeah, I know that's quite low power. Let me turn it on. Uh, what I'm using to power it, well right now I'm going to let it heat up real quick. What I'm using to power it is a microwave transformer uh, powered by 40 volts from this transformer. So, and I'm using the filament windings which put out about one or two volts which is just about perfect for this tube. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but inside of here that little uh, metal part that you can see kind of glowing or not glowing but uh, the only metal part you can really see if you can look inside of there uh, you can kind of see it glow when I do this see anyway we're gonna see what happens when it when I let it run for too long and it overheats so it's really cool when you look at it in reality because it's beautiful here we go plates turning red Let me flip it over so we can actually see the part where the uh, plate was gl glowing. Uh, let me turn it all off. I didn't think I'd be able to uh, turn it red with this lower voltage, but it did. So, let me turn it back on. I can't see the filament anymore, but it's probably on. Either that or it broke. Yep, it's kind of glowing again. I think. Yeah, it is. In a few seconds here, the plate should be getting red again. There we go. Quite beautiful, isn't it? It doesn't look like it's going to be getting any much, like, very much hotter than this. Oh, the whole tube is glowing blue now. Whoa. I'm looking inside of the plate right now, uh, where the filament and cathode is, and it's beautiful blue, of course. Oh, it's amazing how little power it takes to turn something red. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep this one running at 40 volts. And I'm going to use this microwave transformer, uh running at 80 volts. I bet this thing's gonna blow up now. Okay, maybe not literally blow up, but that'll be interesting. But first, I need to find which windings on my power, ch my, pink, my main power transformer are the ones that are going to uh, put out the voltage that I need. So. There's 80 volts. I don't know if it's going to have any current. Oh, you know what? I don't have any alligator clips, so... Let's just uh, do this until it decides to give up. Yep, I think it's pretty much blown now. It's not... It's not pulling really any current, and I don't see it glowing or anything. Alright, well, just watch me kill vacuum tube. <laughs> There's probably going to be more to come. Hope you enjoyed it, because I sure did.